Hi, it's David Davis from TrainSignal at VMWareVideos.com. Uh, if you've followed any of my articles or videos, you know that I'm a big fan of VMware Labs. And one of their new flings is the Thinapt vSphere client. Now, for those who aren't familiar with VMware Labs and their flings, uh, flings are independent projects or pet projects that VMware engineers take on because they feel passionate about something. These are unsupported software uh, features or APIs or whatever they might be, um, software products from VMware. They're completely unsupported by VMware support, but the developers do provide some best effort support on the web pages uh, for their particular fling. Now, this new VMware Labs fling does exactly what it says it will do. Um, it's a thin apt version of the vSphere client. So in other words, they've taken the vSphere client and they've used application virtualization to virtualize that software and package it um, independent of the guest operating system. So what that means to you is you don't have to install the vSphere client. It's just a simple executable. You just run. You could run it from a USB key. You could run it um, over the network. It's just a single file that you run and it's the full vSphere client. It works. It's super cool. It's only 65 megabytes to download. You don't have to install anything. You just double click it, run, and you're using the vSphere client. So let me show you. I've already downloaded it. Um, you can find it over at labs.vmware.com. It's the featured fling this month. Um, if I go over to my downloads here, you can see there's the ThinApp to vSphere client. I'm going to open the containing folder, or I could just double click that um, compressed zip file that was downloaded, right? And here you see it. I can just double click it. Inside here, there's an open source license. There's a license agreement. But this right here, this is really all you need is the VMware vSphere client, 64.9 megabytes. Um, I'm going to open that and run it. Notice down there it says launching.net check, and it said powered by VMware ThinApp. And here we go. Here's the VMware vSphere client. It already has the name of the server that I've connected to before because I have run this once, but I'll go ahead and just log in and prove to you that it does work. Now, while it's logging in back here, um, all we need to do is I'll just extract this um, zip file. And then I'll go into the folder, and then here's that vSphere client. And I can take this, I can cut it, and I can paste it and put it over on a USB um, flash drive, carry it around with me. I've always got the vSphere client. You know, I can run it from my grandma's computer, and uh, I could connect, let's say I had a VPN as well, uh, to my vSphere virtual infrastructure. You could run it over the network, put it on a network share, and any of the VMware admins can run it no matter what PC they're on use the vSphere client and log in with their credentials. So I think it's a super cool way to run the vSphere client. I hope they do this for all versions of the vSphere client in the future. And if I do an Alt-Tab, there it is. There's the vSphere client. I connected with this thin apt version of the vSphere client from VMware Labs. It's completely free. I hope you'll go check it out. Um, they've got a ton of other um, free VMware flings over at labs.vmware.com. Dot com. Thanks for watching.